Okay, in this video, I want to talk about the tools that we're going to need for the course. So we basically need three tools. We need a text editor, something to write our code on. We need a terminal, something to run commands on. And we need Node itself. Now, Node is super easy to download and install. We'll look at that in the next video. In this video, I want to talk about the first two. So if you have a text editor that you already like, that you're familiar with, feel free to use it. You can use any text editor. It really doesn't matter at all. I'm going to be using something called Sublime Text. It's kind of like the industry leader. It's free. Everybody uses it. So we'll go ahead and download and, and install that in a second. As far as terminal goes, I'm on a Windows computer and Windows comes with a couple of terminals, the command prompt, the PowerShell, but they don't work that great. So we're going to need to download something a little bit better. And we're going to download something called Git Bash completely free. We'll do that in just a minute. If you're on a Mac or a Linux, you already have a terminal that you can use. Just go to the little search function on your computer, type in terminal, it'll pop right up. The commands will be the same with what I'm going to be using throughout this course. So you should be fine there. So uh, let's head over to Google and really quickly, let's go just type in sublime text. And the first thing that pops up is going to be sublimetext.com. I uh, notice this sublime text three build 3207. If these numbers change by the time you watch this video, no big deal. Just download whatever the latest version is and you'll be fine. So go ahead and download this and you can save this anywhere. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And I'm on Firefox, so my downloads appear right up here. If you're in Chrome, they will appear down here in the bottom. Whatever you're using, just go ahead and click that to install it. And go ahead and pull this over. It's really simple installation. Just click Next, and then just click Install. Now, I've already installed it on my computer, so I'm not going to install it again. I'll just cancel out of here. Now, to use Sublime Text, just go to your Windows Start menu and uh, type in Sublime. It'll pop right up. And uh, this is it. So now we need the terminal. So head back over to Google and type in git bash. And it's actually the second one listed git scm.com forward slash downloads. And again, this is 2.23.0. If this number changes by the time you watch this course, no big deal. Just download the latest version. And you'll notice it does come with a Mac or a Windows version. I should notice uh, I should uh, mention sublime text will work on Mac or Linux too. So whatever your computer is, it's fine. Uh, you can download this if you're on Mac or Linux. If you want the exact same terminal that I'm using, go ahead and do that. But like I said, you already have a terminal on your computer. So whatever you feel like using is fine. So go ahead and download this and install it. Let me pull this up. Now this installation is a little bit different. There's a whole bunch of screens here and they're all kind of weird. So I'm going to talk about a couple of them. The first one is it says it asks what text editor you're using and sublime text happens the to be the default, I think here looks like um, if you're using a different text editor, don't feel like you have to come through here and find it in this list. These two tools don't work together in any way. So I don't know why they even ask this. You, you could just ignore this and click next. So like I said, there's a bunch of screens. We just want the defaults for all of these. So just click next, 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 next. Again, we don't care what any of these are. And finally, you get to this last screen. I go ahead and click install to finish installing. Like I said, I've already got this on my computer, so I'm not going to install it again, but you go ahead and do that. And same thing to, to use this, just head over to your Windows start menu, type in git bash, that's G-I-T bash, B-A-S-H. It'll pop right up. And when it does, this is what it looks like. It's just a basic command prompt, a, a command line terminal. And uh, that's cool. So those are the two main tools that we're going to need for this course. In the next video, we'll go ahead and download and install Node and go from there.